for a long time Now I'm finally getting in the game It's about time This is my time This is my time The only thing I consider impossible is losing Sidelines for a long time Now I'm finally getting in the game It's about time This is my time This is my time The only thing I consider impossible is losing I've been waiting on the sidelines for a long time Now I'm finally getting in the game It's about time This is my time This is my time The only thing I consider Bet US, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to TD Fins Talk, home of the real Miami Dolphin fans. Y'all punch that like button on your way in the building. Building, excuse me. Let your friends and family members know about the channel. We are over 19,000 subs on our way to 20,000. Thank everyone for the love and support. Shout out to the homie Raw with it 4.0 live from the ranches. What it do, baby? I love it. Love you, man. That's the crib. If um, for those who don't know, well, I'm Hollywood. You know, that's across the train tracks. You know. Um, but yeah, man, shout out to you, man. Uh, listen, man, we're going to do some, we're going to mock it up tonight. We're going to do maybe one or two mock drafts. Um, uh, we're not going to be crazy long, but we're going to get it in and we'll talk about a little bit of strategy. Um, you know, and some of the things I think the Dolphins should do. Uh, but before we get started, um, shout out to our sponsor, BetUS. BetUS is the number one online sports book in which they are currently offering a 125% deposit match up to $2,500 on your first three deposits. That means you can put up in $500, you will have $1,250 to play with. BetUS has 24-7 customer service and 24-hour easy payouts, ladies and gentlemen. Click the top link in the description to receive your bonus. Now, remember, we're also giving away $125 in free play, okay? Um, some people hit me up and say, hey, I've been trying to hit you up for the free play. I realize my Twitter doesn't allow people to send me DMs unless I follow you back, okay? I'm going to figure out that little setting eventually. But for now, all you have to do is go in the comment section of the video and, and not the chat, but the comment section of the video and go ahead and put your um, account number in. Show me your account number in the comment section on um, any platform that I'm on, because I know you could DM me on Instagram, but even if you want to do it on YouTube in the chat, put it in there and you'll receive $25 in free play. So the first five people I get that from, I'll make sure I send over the 25 bucks for the free play with BetUS, all right? So go ahead and get started. Supporting our sponsors is supporting the channel. Use it in the link in the description of the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Okay, here we are. Oh, uh, man, we got um, 100 and some people up in here. Again, please punch that like button. All right, we know that this is the down season of football. Um, the draft is next week is going to be pretty dope um, in the week after that. Um, and then at that point, it's kind of like, you know, we're going to be going through the team, the schedule, all of that stuff. It's going to start dying down, but it's all good. It's all good. We're going to be here all summer. Y'all know how we operate. We get you through. And we do what we got to do, baby. All right. Um, 
Uh, horsey head in the house. What's up, man? I appreciate you coming through. It's been a minute. Um, I, 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 I'm glad to see you in the chat. Ronnie in the house. Glenn always rocking with us. Uh, Beast Mo said unsubscribing. I ain't for everybody, bro. I am not for everybody. All right. Um, uh, you seen how your quarter, your, your QB plays. Okay. Um, you can, you guarantee that with the next QB, he will be better. Glenn, I got to stop you with that, man. You've been saying a lot of that, Glenn. There's no guarantee that the next quarterback is going to be better. Glenn, if you need a nine, right? Just And this ain't even got to be quarterbacks, just in general. If you need a nine and you got an eight, you cannot keep saying, stop going in the draft because you don't know. You might get a six. You might get a five. You might get a four. You still need a nine, Glenn. And we have a eight or seven, really, but I'm just saying there's an analogy. You still need a nine, Glenn. Avoiding getting, avoiding trying to find a nine just to keep the eight ain't going to get you nowhere, Glenn. So the, the theory of, oh, the, you know, you, there's no guarantees in the draft. And again, don't forget the main theory here. Don't forget the main strategy here. You go get a quarterback in the draft and you keep your eight and hope that he becomes a nine. It's not like replacing. It's not getting rid of. There's no rule that says if you draft your quarterback, you know, um, you have to start him and then get rid of the guy you got. There's no rule that says that. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Glenn said, but we only have two picks in first four rounds. Have many holes. Ah, Glenn, we got plenty picks. We got plenty picks, Glenn. And I'm about to, um, I'm going to do a quick mock before we get into a detailed mock. I'm going to do a quick mock, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do um, a seven-round quick mock real quick. Just to show you, Glenn, man, there's so much we can do, bro. There's so much we can do. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Uh, I'm going to put my little face down here at the bottom if that's cool. We're going to click on the dolphins. We're going to go in the middle here on the settings, the middle there, draft needs, priority, randomness. I don't like randomness. I like it to be what it's likely to be. We're going to enter the draft. And right off the bat, Glenn, this is what I'm going to do, Glenn. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins. Right off bat, let me see. Where are we? Uh, man, where are we? Are we? Are we anywhere to be found? Oh, we're down here. Hold on. Okay, my okay. We're already over here. This is what I'm going to do, Glenn. And, and I keep and I keep telling you too, Glenn. I keep telling you. Um, let me go around um, Minnesota area. This is what I keep telling you, Glenn. That third rounder next year is very important. We already know that we should get two third rounders next year from compensatory picks. Okay. So before we even start this draft, I'm gonna do what I can to see if I can convert those third rounders. Uh, let me get rid of that. I'm going to take one of those third rounders next year, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, that might be tough to get. Let me let me try to do this. Let me try to go ahead and convert it into this year. That didn't work, so let me go down to 230. Offer trade. Glenn, we got picks now, okay? We got picks now, Glenn. All right? Look, the, the Dolphins in the first round. We in the second round. Um, We're in the fourth twice. And, and, and to be honest with you, Glenn, if, if I want, I, can, I uh, you, you, you can call up another team or something, right? And you can try to get in the third round by finagling a few picks if you want. Let me see. 97. See what I gotta do. Look at look at that, Glenn. 
right? All right, fifty-four percent chance. Let me throw that straggler. Oh no! Let me pause. I started the draft. I almost screwed up. No, I didn't mean to do that. But let me go back to Cincinnati. Let me get that same trade in. Ninety-seven, one hundred eight, one eighty-four. Let me get there. No, let me do one eighty-four. On this one. All right, offer trade. All right, so trade again. All right, so so Glenn, we're in that. It's that simple. It's it's that simple, Glenn. We're first round at twenty one. We're second round at fifty five. Third round at ninety seven, because compensatory pick stretched to third. I know it's a late third, but then we're you know um a little late fourth. But but we're in the game now. We got more picks now, Glenn. Maybe that helps. All right. It's a lot of ways we we can do this. A lot of ways. All right, let's resume the draft. Let's pause. Let me see here. TD, if Miami picks up 31 and 36 for 21 in a trade with San Francisco, what would you do with those two second round picks bro you read my mind because that's why i paused again that's why i paused again because i've been trading with um the 49ers um in all my mocks because that's what i want to do i want to move down to the 49ers spot and let's see let's see let's take 31 and 63 21 that looked like a good trade but let's see if we can get one more piece let me get rid of that let's go 176 all right Let's offer it. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. It didn't work. Let me throw in a 230. It ain't make it ain't make much difference. Let me throw in 198. See if that worked. All right. All right. So now the Dolphins got first round, two second rounds, a third round, and a fourth. Eaton. Pause. Hey, Jackson Powers Johnson already off the board. I'm telling you, the Dolphins need to go ahead and start moving some of these picks. Maneuver some of these picks. We got two fifth rounders next year and two sevens. Very interesting. Two sevens. I'm going to take one of those sevens. Take one of those six. Take all this back in stuff. 138. Mm. Y'all give me a second. Hmm. Uh, just trying to see something here. All right, we good, man. I'm going to stop right there on my trees for now. I'm going to stop right there on my trees. This seems unlikely and unrealistic. Well, you know what? Here's the interesting thing, y'all. Everybody, a lot of people always say that, unlikely and unrealistic. And that's typically because general managers don't usually do this. General managers don't usually do this. But what you don't notice sometimes, right, is in the draft, during the draft, actually, general managers actually do it all the time. You know how? This is how they do it. Say they got the 10th overall pick and they trade down. They'll pick up 25, and then they'll pick up a second rounder, and they'll pick up a third rounder, right? And the draft is just going along, and you don't notice when it's time for their second round pick, they trade down. You barely, excuse me, you barely notice. And then they do all that trading in the fourth and fifth and sixth round. That happens all the time. We just don't pay attention to the fourth, fifth, and sixth round trades that happen all the time in the draft. 
We did because it's going by faster. We're not really engaged in it. We're waiting on our team's picks. But general managers do a lot of trading in the fourth, fifth, and sixth round. But how else do you think Chris Greer is going to try to get back in the third and fourth round? Because he's going to try to get in the third and fourth round this year, ladies and gentlemen. He is definitely going to try to get in the third or fourth round this year. Hands down. And either way, I love where we are right now with our picks. Now, let's go ahead and draft. Let's do it. All right, so we're on the clock at 31. All right? We could talk about need, and we could talk about best player available, right? There's different big boards that shows different best players available. But I'm going to tell you all now, this is just how I feel about the whole situation. I'm the type of individual that really do, I really do think that the Miami Dolphins need to prioritize grabbing a center. I think defensive tackle and center are the number one and number two priorities in this draft for the Miami Dolphins. Do you agree or do you disagree? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Center and defensive tackle, number one, number two priorities. I know y'all quarterback people, but I'm just saying, outside of quarterback. So when I look at the way that the board has gone so far, right, I actually feel good. When you look at everything available right now, I really feel good about moving down again. I feel good about getting out of the first round. And don't tell me about a fifth-year option. Chris Greer, I mean, he don't know what to do with him anyway. I feel good about moving down right here. And if I did move down, what would I do? I would go right at the beginning of the second round with the Carolina Panthers. And I'm going to 33. They can have my 31. I'm going to pick up the best draft pick from a point system standpoint I can, and that's going to be 101. Offer that trade, it was successful. And when you look at the picks we have now, picking at number 33, bam. The guy that I'm still targeting is still there. Zach Frazier at this point at the center position. But before I do that, there's, there's a few more players that I, I'm scared that I might lose 22 picks later. I'm telling you, if I'm Chris Greer, I'm wheeling and dealing. I'm taking number 55. I'm trying to go all the way up to about 38. And I'm going to move 97. And 2.30, see if it'll go through. Nope. Let me add 129. That's too much. All right, this should get it done. Dang, they don't even want that. I'm struggling here. I got to, ooh, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm, they just don't want it at all. Maybe they just don't want to move out of their pick. All right, man, I gave up a little, but I thought it was necessary. All right. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and draft Zach Frazier for the Miami Dolphins. I know I could force a trade, Glenn, but I wanted to like the system to at least tell me you're trying to, I don't want to feel like I'm stealing something. All right, so here we are back at 38. And here's my deal. I'm going to be honest with you. Center and defensive tackle is my priority. I already got my center. But I want a defensive tackle. I like Brent, um, Braden Fisk. I really like Braden Fisk, but here's my thing. Here, here's my only holdup. 
Let me go to players, right? Let me go defensive tackle. Tavondre Sweat. I just love this kid, man. I just love Sweat, y'all. I love Sweat for the Miami Dolphins. A true three tech, 362, a wall in the middle. I love Sweat. Now, I understand that Fisk brings the speed. I just don't want him getting bullied early in his career. He's undersized, but he's athletic. He remind me of Christian Wilkins chasing the plays down. But I'm sorry. I love Tavondre Sweat. But here's the thing. I think I could get Tavondre Sweat at 63. I know the DWI. That's why he's falling. And that's why. I, I don't worry about that. Listen, DWI is serious. Shame on him. But it ain't like he ain't going to get drafted. It ain't like he ain't going to ball out for a team and end up turning his self around. Hopefully, right? We want to be optimistic and, and, and doing well. I know he had a DWI, but at the end of the day, his draft stock is already falling. And if we could get him, I think we could hold out to get him. I think that he'll still be there at 68. I'm gambling, but I think he'll be there. Now, with that being said, with that being said, I'm going to hold off. But I want y'all to think about this now. We done already got our center. I got a plan at the defensive tackle position because guess what? If he's going off the board, I'm pretty confident at, at 63. I mean, one of these guys, I like Chris Jenkins. I like um, Brandon Fisk. Obviously, he'll be gone. I like Chris Jenkins, you know, and Sweat. The other ones, um, you know, Rook is nice too. But one of those four guys will be there. So now what do I do at 38 then? What do I do at 38? Now do I go best player available? Or do I go to the second tier of team needs? So we know the primary team needs are center and defensive tackle. We already got the center. We got a plan for the defensive tackle. The second primary needs for the team is a guard and a wide receiver three. A guard and a wide receiver three. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. Any good general manager can find a really good guard in the third round, in my opinion. I don't feel like I want to waste the number 38 overall pick on a guard. And a wide receiver three, this draft is so loaded. I can make a move, few moves in the 70s to get back in the 70s and get a really nice receiver. Remember, it's the wide receiver three that we hope has upside to become wide receiver two when Tyreek's gone and Waddle goes to wide receiver one. But there's one area that I'm really interested in right here. One area I'm interested in right here. Jordan Morgan. I'm really interested in him. And I think that this might be the perfect situation where you can already bring in Teron Armstead's replacement. Will I do it right here? I'm going to let y'all decide because I honestly don't know. But the way that this draft is shaping up for us, would it be a better value right here to go left tackle for Teron Armstead's replacement? He get to sit behind Teron Armstead. And then if Teron Armstead get hurt, he get to go in and play and like, like real teams are supposed to do. Oh, man, this is crazy, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. I did it. I did it. I did it because I think it's the smart thing to do. Now, let me back up here. Let's see who was taken after that. Let's see who was taken off the board. Any other guys we wanted? Brandon Fisk is gone. Michael Penix is gone. Let me see. Is what you call it gone? Not yet. Not yet. Rain, Rook is gone. 
Uh, only got two more left. Ooh, Xavier Worthy. Dang, I dang, he just went. Um, say Jaden. All right, here we are at 63. And look at what we got available. Chris Jenkins still on the board. And like I told y'all, Devondre Sweat. That's my target. And right now he's still on the board with two other defensive tackles ahead of him. Two others ahead of him. So, again, I think I could still hold out at the defensive tackle position. But what should we do now? Guard or third wide receiver? And I want to go look at the wide receivers, ladies and gentlemen. I want to go look at the wide receivers. And look, we still have some really nice players available. Um, Javon Baker on the board, Johnny Wilson, Devontae Walker. I, I want to hear from you all. Who do you like? Who do you like at the wide receiver position? Doesn't mean we have to select the wide receiver here, but who do you like? Let me hear from a few of you guys, and I'll tell you who I like. Malachi Corley, okay, Javon Baker is tough. I love Javon Baker. Corley again. Mm. <laughs> Somebody said Tua ain't getting to the third progression, man. <laughs> Jalen, I love him from UCF. Baker or Rice, Johnny Wilson. Mm. But here's here's why, I, I, let me be honest with y'all, why I asked y'all. Because y'all done already listed almost everybody on here that's still available all the way in the 90s. And for that reason is why I'm going to explore trading down. And I'm going to see if I can move down to about 72. Give up my 63. But pick up 111. Let's see what we get out of that. Offer trade, golden. Golden. Let's see who gets picked in that process. Let's see who we um, let come off the board. All right. Edrin Cooper. No, no, no. Spencer Rattler goes. but Not a player we, we were looking at went off the board. Not a single player we were looking at went off the board, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now, this is where we got to be smart. We got to go a little bit early, but we got to take Tavondre Sweat. No, pause. No. Oh, I paused it in the 80s. I, I was trying to move up. Tavondre Sweat, Booker gone. Okay, Dorless Walker, Javon Baker is gone. Uh, Tackle Gabriel, Blake Fisher, Johnny Wilson, Jamari Trash, and now we got to go get that third receiver. Now we have to go get that third receiver. How are we going to do it? We're going to try to trade with the Rams. Uh-oh. We can't make no more trades. I think I must have hit my um, max. Something must have happened. Oh, no, no, no. I'm here. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, man. All right. Let's see. All right. 111. All right, let me let's make this trade. I'm gonna take two of those mid round picks and move up to 83. And now I want to go wide receiver here. Who you like, ladies and gentlemen? You got Malik Washington on the board, Anaya Smith, speedy guy, just small but speedy. Um, Jacob, Brendan Rice, Malachi Corley still on the board. Malachi Corley on the board. Who you like right here? Who y'all like right here? I'm going to be honest with y'all. I like Anaya Smith and Brendan Rice. Those are my two. Corley is number three probably. I know he's higher. Um, let me look at some of his. Um, Penix is already gone off the board for those who keep on asking. Let's see, 210, junior, 5'11", short. Uh, let's see, Brennan Rice. 
thing I like is the height, the 6'3", senior. He's groomed. That's why I like Rice. But then when you look at um, – Corley's a smaller guy, but then Anaya Smith. Anaya is 5'10", even smaller. Um, what did G stand for? Graduated. I don't know. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. My choice here is Brendan Rice, y'all. I know a lot of people in the chat saying um, Corley, but we need a big body receiver. We need a big body receiver. I feel like he's going to be a good pro. Um, I know a lot of y'all keep saying Corley, but I got to go Rice. I like him right here. It may be a little bit early, but that's why we did all the maneuvering. We're going to draft Corley. We're going to make it to pick 104, and we're going to start looking for our guard. All right. Yeah. Always like to check out the best available first. Uh, Eric All, interesting. Um, hmm. Hmm. Michigan lineman, but Trevor King and all. Uh, Keegan, he's not very favorable for me. Yeah. He had a good 2023, but no, I'm not a big fan. Leonard Taylor. Maybe I'll pass on that. Let me look at the safeties. Hmm. I don't know why I keep hitting that. Oh, man. Where is he at? Where am I? Oh, there it is. I was going to say, where's my boy from the U? Mm. The problem is I just feel like it's too way too early. Mm. Man, so I need y'all help real quick because this is the part of the draft where it gets a little rough. Best value, guard, safety, corner even right now for the Dolphins. I think we've been doing really good so far, but I want to get the best value out of this pick for our team. We're thin at the safety position right now. That's the problem. And I feel like that's the next priority. Guard, I'm going to be honest, man. Guards, I feel like guards are made almost. I just feel like guards are made. Tear offensive line, man. And I'm going to be honest, if I am going to draft the guard, is Zach Zinner. Is probably my my the the one that I love the most. Oh yeah, Zach Zinner is the one that I love the most. Mm. Said now here's a guy. That's it. And the problem is I can wait with Zach Zinner. It's no rush. Um, mm. uh, let me go look at Nugent real quick. You can never go wrong with Michigan linemen. Never. Come on, load already. What's taking so long to load? Oh, they're not loading for me. 
Mm. All right, man. I'm just going to do what I got to do. I got to get out of this position, y'all. I got to move out of 104. I got to go down to about 112. Um, Try with the Raiders. And... um. No, I don't like the Raiders. I don't like their picks. Let me go with Pittsburgh. Oh, that's too far. Jacksonville. Ooh. Let's see. Mm. Let me do this. No, it ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move down with Jacksonville. All right. We're gonna go bam. 116. We're on the clock. All right. Why did I click on that mess? I don't want this man. All right. Let me go to safeties now. Mm. I'm going to just go get James now. I know it's early, but I'm going to grab him now. Oh, okay. Is it my pick? We paused at 130. I just got to see if um, what you call it is still on the board. Okay, Trevor King Keegan is gone. All right, so we good. Resume. And I just hope he's there at 153. Here we go. Hopefully I didn't gamble too much. All right, he should be there. Please, nobody take him right before me. All right, cool. Think we're good. I'm going to go get Zach Zinner. And I'm going to pause. And a little cherry on top. Let me consolidate all of these. Let me just go down. Off the tree. All right. We got one more pick at 192. All right. And let me see here. Any sleepers that you all want me to look at real quick at 192? Any sleepers that you can bring up right now? Any sleepers that you feel might be available right now you'd love for me to look up? Give me the name and the position. Y'all know who I want. He right there in y'all face right now. Y'all know who I want. You know who I want. He's sitting right there at the top. Y'all know who I want. Ooh. <laughs> 
Oh, y'all know who I want. Ooh, but I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. All right, let me just go. Let me see if I can find me a late round linebacker. Hmm. All right. All right, I'm going to go with Jalen Green out of JMU. Yeah. I'm going to bring another edge in, given our current situation on the team. I'm just going best player available. I think that's a smart thing for me to do in this situation. Get another edge rusher just in case he got to play early in the season because of our current situation. All right, analyzing draft. At least be a B. At least be a B. Come on. At least give your boy a B. B plus it. Mm, they told me I should have drafted Bo Nix. Bo Nix has a higher positional rank instead of Zach Frazier. Ain't that crazy, y'all? In the second round, pick 33. For, for that first pick, they wanted me to get a quarterback, which was better value than the center. It's telling you something. They don't like that Zach Frazier pick. They never do, even though they know he's a first uh, early second round prospect. And maybe just not for the Dolphins. But I know I rocked out the rest of this draft. I already know I did. A minus. Excuse me. B plus. Brendan Rice, C minus. They did that to me off a of knee. Ah, they going to hate on the safety? They going to give me an F? Because I got them so early. B plus with Zach. C plus. Ah, your boy got a B minus. I got a B minus. Man, oh man. Man, they telling me Bo Nix. B minus. Hey, I'm still passing. I'm still passing. Let's do another one with less trades. Another one with less trades. Enter the draft. All right. Um, I'm going to do one with just the draft picks that we have now. The only difference is I'm going to move our third. I, I, I just keep. I'm sorry, y'all, but I just keep on moving our third rounder from next year. I keep moving the third rounder next year. Um. Because we, I know I know Chris Greer is going to use a third rounder from next year in this draft because we're going to have three. I know he's going to use it because we don't have any third rounds this year. I feel very confident he's going to do that. But how can I move it? I need somebody in the... Low 80s. Need somebody in the 80s. Uh, let's see. Cowboys 87. Um, next year's third. And ooh, that's a lot. 98. All right, let's do it. Offer trade. Dang. The Cowboys ain't go for it. Final offer, man. Y'all better take this one. All right. All right. So let's start draft. Dolphins being patient. Dolphins waiting. Dolphins at 21. Here we go. So we got a first. We got a second. We got a third. We don't have a fourth. Okay. All right. So Jackson Powers Johnson is still on the board. Um, Graham Barton is still on the board. Brian Thomas Jr. is still on the board. There's some really good players on the board. I know I'm not going to trade much, but 
Do y'all think I should just make the one trade and go down like four or five spots? Do you think I should make one trade and move down about four or five spots right here? JC Latham, everybody's saying Latham. Y'all want to go tackle to sit behind Armstead right now? Or, uh, I mean, it, it, I, I don't get it, though, because he don't have no experience on the left. What you going to do with Austin Jackson? He's a right tackle, JC Latham. I don't know about that one, y'all. Y'all want this man bringing him in just to sit on the bench, or are y'all one of those individuals like, no, 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 he'll play guard at first. Now, I don't want to hear no he can play guard. He ain't had no collegiate experience but his rookie year in college with 135 snaps. So, uh, listen, a first-round pick, and y'all want to bring him in to play right guard right off rip? He played right guard three years ago. Come on now. Come on now. He played like three games. But that's what y'all want to use your first pick on? And remember, he's still a right tackle. So even whenever whatever happened, you don't know how he's going to transition to the left side of the line. I mean, we ain't going to be drafting no tackle and uh, no guard in the first round to be a guard for three or four years now. Come on now. I think I got to move down a few spots. I think I'm going to try to go to 26. I think that would be wise right now because of what's all available. Mm. Let's see if we can get this one done. Mm. Didn't work. Let's throw back a 158. Try that. All right, that worked. Let's resume the draft. So let's see what happened in that little bit of time. So JC Latham went next to the Bucks. Nate Wiggins, Kool-Aid. Amarius Mims, Graham Barton. That was a nice option. But now J JPJ is right there on the board. And we picked up our um another third round pick. Y'all keep saying Armstead plays like five games, but uh, the man JC Latham don't play left tackle. Yes, J.C. went at our 21, and rightfully so. He don't play left tackle, y'all. But Jackson Powers Johnson right here on the board for us now. And we're going to draft him. And now we got to wait it out. All right, we're coming up. Let's see who went off the board since that, though. All right. Tyler Nugent, Brian Thomas, Lad McConkey, Tyler Newbin, Peyton, Lisa Chop Robinson to New England, Zach Frazier to Arizona. Uh, let me see. Troy Franklin, Brandon Fist, number 39 to the Panthers. Some tackles are going. Darius Robinson is gone. Bo Nix at 44. Michael Penix at 45. Mm, second rounders. All right. Elisa Isaac. Okay. Jatavian Sanders. Okay. Burton. Ed. Safety Bullock. Rook. Okay. And now the Dolphins are on the board. All right. All right. Here we go. So what's important to us right now? We got our, our our we got our guy in the middle. Do we go guard? Do we go defensive tackle? Which I feel like we can get a little later now. What would be the best option for the Miami Dolphins? Uh, 
Dang, Xavier Leg is still on the board. It's <clears throat> interesting. Xavier Worthy on the board. Mm. Javondre Sweat, 74. We might miss out on the defensive tackle. That's the problem. Mm. Oh, man. We might miss out. We might miss out. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm a little worried about what to do right here. Like, what would the Dolphins do right here? What would they do right here? Would they go after a guy like Chris Jenkins? Hmm. <laughs> it said legged, no brainer. Y'all really want legged, huh? Y'all really want that receiver. Trust me, I'm with you. I'm just like, what are the Dolphins going to do, though? 6-3, what are the Dolphins going to do, though? Hmm. I'm going to ride with y'all, man. We're going to ride. Let's go. Let's get our receiver. Did I just miss him? Let's see. Xavier Worthy. All right. All right. Zoom. Spencer Rattler gone. Austin Booker. Ah, Tavondre Sweat is gone. Y'all done got us in trouble. We in trouble now. <laughs> Oh, man. We in trouble now. All right. It sucks not having any third and fourth round picks because Chris Greer really going to have to maneuver to get up to get some of these solid players because there are good players available. But Chris Greer is really going to have to, man, he going to have to figure it out. He really going to have to figure it out. All right. Um, man, he on the board. I love it. Oh, well, my thing is, man, you bring him in, you got to start. You might have to start this man off real. Let's do it. Let's eat. We went kitchens. And now we right back up. I love Mason McCormick. Hmm. Oh, I hit it by mistake, but I'm, you know what? I'm fine with the pick. I made a mistake and pressed um, McCormick, but I ain't mad at it. Now we got to wait to 125. That's my bad on that one, y'all. But I ain't mad at it. I like him. I love him, actually. All right. Gosh, I wish they could show me um, all my picks so far. Because that last one that I hit by mistake threw me off. Let me see. Yeah, 
Should I pull? Yeah, I figure I'm making sure. Defensive tackle. Gosh, man. Just upsets me when I miss out on who I wanted. All right, let's look at best available. Uh, we don't need no halfback. Just got our safety. Ooh, hey, he's still on the board. I thought I was in the one. Where are we? Yeah, we're just right. Cooper BB. Let me make sure. Malik Washington, Chris Jones, Muhammad Kamara. Jack and Jackson. Ooh. Boy, this is tough. Hate that I, I, I hate that I picked McCormick on that last pick. BB was still here. No, I'm good with that. We double dipping, man. Get rid of all them bums we got right now, Chris Greer. Get rid of all them bums we got right now. Now, we don't pick to 198. I feel like I miserably failed on this one because of the defensive tackle. But I will say this. BB and McCormick, they're going to make Chris Gre make uh, Mike McDaniel cut all them bums we got on that O-line right now. I hope Chris Greer ain't give him no guaranteed money. And you talking about a really good old line? If we were to do that, we got the center, the two guards, man, man. I ain't got nobody. But... All right, we at that point, y'all. I'm gonna need y'all help. Any sleeper value picks on the back end? Any sleeper value picks on the back end you want me to look into? Give me a player in the position, though. See, and every time I look at a running back, because Frank Gore Jr., I love athlete um, kids, um, previous NFL, but then I just keep thinking about Moster and A chain. But, and then I think about um, our third string, our guy, um, I always say his name wrong. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Our other young guy who was a rookie last year um, on the bench that backed them up. I mean, we just so straight right now at the position, but you can use one for the future and put them on the practice squad. Or he in there. Uh, Carlton Johnson. You know what? It's one guy I want to look up. Let me see if he's still available. Wide receiver position. Nah, but you got me. Who's gone? Let me see what AB talking about. Uh, don't look like um the Isaac you talking about available. Yeah, Brooks is what I'm talking about. Chris Brooks, yeah. yeah. All right, my bad. Let me see. Ugh. Uh, if John Avery is available, get him. Uh, I guess not. Let me look at 
cornerback. Mm. All right, man. I'm just going to do what I got to do. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. You can never have enough. You bring in talent, you bring in talent. Frank Gore Jr., let's roll. And our last pick is coming up. Y'all know what we're doing. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know the best player in this whole draft. Y'all know what we're doing. Oh, he right there at the top. He right there at the top. There ain't nobody drafting no two or brother. He going to mess up my draft grade. Trying to get me an A. Trying to get me an A. And I know where I'm going to go. Let's go tight end. Mm. Okay. Ain't only three defensive tackles left. Oh, man. And all right, I guess best player available at a position on the let me just make sure. All right, I'm going to go 10. All right, the draft finishing up. <laughs> Did y'all see that Tua brother got drafted one pick before the last pick? <laughs> he, he almost made Mr. Irrelevant. See, um, Tyler Gooten is a better need tackle. Man, are they serious? They gave me a C because Tyler Gooten was a better need. Man, get out of here. Like, Come on, man. What you, I mean, stop it. Dang, I did better. I got a B instead of B minus. I got a B instead of B minus this time. Man. They ain't like the Frank Gore. Cameron Kitchens, they were like, okay. Man, they tripping about the center situation. Are they serious? Talk about a better knee. We ain't even got a center. And leave me alone about some and, and brewer or whoever. They done lost their mind. All right, here we go. Enter draft. No trades whatsoever. Start draft. No trades. Bam, 21. What we doing? I said no trades, but I'm trading. <laughs> oh, let's go to 26. No, let's go to 25, just in case. Uh, all right. Zoom draft. Bam. All right, let's see here. Mm. Mm. This is so interesting right now, I believe. Dang, I said no trades. I'm trading down again. 
Sorry, guys. It's just his first round action. It's tough. Screw that. All right, let's roll. No more trades. <laughs> oh, and I just missed my player. All right, we're going to operate off of the draft right here. All right, Dolphins drafting at 29. Let's do it. What would you do? You get stuck in this situation right here. Who's your first pick off the board? Who is your first pick off the board? I know Xavier. I missed. I missed. Who is your first pick off the board right here? If if this is where you are. Hmm. Interesting. I'm I'm seeing seeing what y'all putting. That is very interesting. I'm going to go that route. Peyton Wilson, linebacker, North Carolina. I like it. It's just that I feel like Greer invested a lot in the position already, but they are temporary. So I actually like it. All right, here we go. 55. What will we do? I know what I would do right here. <laughs> CD Jake's here. You say get a tight end. I'm going Chris Jenkins, y'all. Defensive tackle. We coming right back up at 61. Bam. Jaden Hicks is on the board. Um Dang, Xavier Worthy went right before that. And Xavier Leggett. Look at it. I'm saying Leggett. Somebody said Penix. Penix went at 45 to the Saints. He been gone. Um... Christian Haynes, tell you, that's that's what I'm looking at right now. I like Christian Haynes. Where he went? Oh, there he is. All right. We picking again in the 70s. Y'all may not like me for this one, but I'm about to do it. No, I can't. I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to double down on defensive tackles and take Devondre um Tavondre Sweat, but I, I I can't do it if I already got my got got my guy. I would I man, I I'm the type of person that'll double down, but then I got Javon Baker sitting there at the wide receiver position. I even got Austin Booker and the edge that I like. Johnny Wilson at the receiver position. Ugh. This is a tough one. I ain't gonna lie. This is a tough one. Oh, man. I'm telling you, it's too, man. Austin Booker, Javon Baker, and Johnny Wilson, like, just calling my name, and I don't know which one to select. Even Tavondre Sweat, I'm still kind of like, ugh.
Oh, uh, boy, I ain't going to lie. This is a tough one right here. It's like I want to double up on defensive tackles with Devondre Sweat. I mean, y'all think about that. We already got a guard. We got Christian Haynes. I love that pick. We already got Chris Jenkins, but Jenkins, Sweat, Zyler, three-man rotation. And then Chris Greer going to sit there and bring like eight defensive tackles in camp. That's the only reason I can't. I got to literally ignore Sweat right now. I got to go with Austin Booker, Javon Baker, or Johnny Wilson. I'm going to tell you now, man, Johnny Wilson, y'all. See, I mean, just the profile personifies six, seven. Six, seven. Like, we got all these 5'10", 5'11". We talk about six, seven. Dog. Yeah, I know I picked it early. Um, AB, I just didn't want to miss out. I, I think my last drive skewed me because I missed them. Ah, this is a tough one. Johnny Wilson. Then you got Javon Baker, who's 6'1", but the talent on him too. And then I like Austin Booker. I just hate our situation right now at the defensive um, the outside linebacker defensive end position. I'm bothered by their injuries. I just don't feel like they're going to be ready. But I just got to go with gut and go Johnny Wilson here. I got to. Man, we need it too. But, man, I had all them guys sitting right there in front of me. And now we just sitting back waiting forever. Maybe I should have sped the draft up. Sorry, I'm trying to consolidate so I can um kind of hate all them um late round picks. All right, 168. Ooh. Drake Nugent sitting right there at 168. Where they do that at? <laughs> like, like right there. At 98. For me, I'm sorry if y'all disagree. Oh, uh, man. Oh, man. Like, can I really, like, all y'all talk about Milton. You would take Joe Milton here over Drake Nugent? Y'all would really do that? Just curious. I was at TD. Yes, we need a quarterback. Bro, they're going to pay Tua, though. It doesn't matter. Y'all would really. I, I, I'm going to have to go against y'all on this. I got to go Nugent, man. I'm sorry. I know I'm trying to take y'all advice, but I got to go against y'all on this. I'm trying to actually get a A- minus on this. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it, man. I had to. I just had to, man. Um, This is our last pick. This is our last pick, and um, actually, I don't like him. 
AB said TD is a two and near. He don't want competition <laughs> for the quarterback. And I feel you, bro. Oots, um, baby. Uh, Uno, above all. All right, we're going to go AJ Barner. I'm just going to make the tight end pick at the position of need. All right, let's see how we did. They giving me C's for Fred Gore Jr. I'm straight. Come on, draft grade. Give me, make it good. Give your boy an A. Man, they find everything wrong. They try to tell you everything you did wrong. They keep on trying to tell the Dolphins they need a tackle. They keep telling us that, but here we go. Ooh, B minus. B. B plus. C. Johnny Wilson messing with y'all. B minus on Lucian. Gosh. A on the tight end. Gosh, I still couldn't get the A. Hey, but I like this draft, though. We got a center, a wide receiver. Like, look, we got a starting linebacker. We got a starting defensive tackle. We got a starting guard, a number three receiver that's going to play. We got a starting center. Even though A.J. Barner is an A, I don't know if he'll start, but I like this draft. I like this draft, but I still couldn't get the A. And Johnny Wilson screwed me. All right, last one. Last one. Let's go into the draft. Like I said, I like to move my number three from next year. Because we got compensatories, a five and a seven. Mm. Mm. Mm, trying to move my next year. Oh, I'm. A, that's why I'm with Chicago right now. Dang, Seahawks ain't got no picks. Like, they 16, and then they sitting still for a long time. Dang, I need somebody in the... There we go. That's what I was looking for. I don't care for all those elite crap. All right. Trying to do me a little. Oh, they ain't even accepted on you, boy. Man, y'all got to be kidding me. All right, yeah, I'm trying to get rid of all that stuff, and they won't let me. All right. Start draft. Let's do it. 
All right, here we are at number 21. What is the best pick that the Miami Dolphins can make? All right. Um, like, like, let me ask y'all a question, though. Real talk. Put it in the chat. Are we gonna pick at 21 or will Chris Greer trade down a few picks? Are we gonna pick at 21 or will Chris Greer trade down? Put it in the chat. What do y'all believe? Because all my mock drafts I've been trading down because I just feel like it's it's going to happen because we didn't have any third or fourth round picks. And if he trade down, where is he going to trade down to? Middle 20s or late 20s? Or early 30s? <laughs> or out of the first altogether? What do you all think? Put it in the chat. Twenty-five to twenty-eight, and let's operate at about twenty-seven to go off of um, what Xavier put. All right, twenty-seven, twenty-one, twenty-one. What can you get? Seventy-one. Give them 158. No, I'll get all this back in stuff. Offer trade. All right. Let's do it. So this is more like it. This is what Chris Greer got a first round, a second round, got a third round, got a fourth round, and got a sixth. All right, this is our draft board. Tyler Newbin is on the board, Peyton Wilson, Brian Thomas Jr., Tyler Gooden. Man, see, and this is why I hate boards like this because based off of your need, it make you want to trade down, but the best player for Miami right now on this board would be Tyler Gooden. He would be the best option. Everybody's saying Brian Thomas Jr. The reality is that guy is a starter in the NFL. Him getting drafted in the first round at 28, you're going to have him be your number three receiver? Like, when you really think about that, it's all good and it sounds good. It's beautiful. We got weapons galore, but you're going to put that on. Oh, you're going to wide receiver it right now when the guy isn't even going to have the primary playing time in the first round. I understand the utilization for the future, right? But left tackle is more important than that. If you want to talk about the future, because the left tackle might get primary playing time now, if we're going to look at it that way. Mm. And to be honest with you, you're going to have a talent next year available in the first or second round like that. All right, let me just ask y'all, man. We going Brian Thomas Jr. or Tyler Gooden? I'm going to tell you, by positional need, Gooden is the best value. But again, talking right tackle. And the issue with um, one of the issues with Guten is he has a terrible zone blocking grade. He's a great pass protection guy. We, we, yeah. Guyton, okay, Guyton. I'd say Guten. Gosh, y'all finna make me get Brian Thomas Jr., ain't you? All right, let's 
Chris Greer just got Brian, <laughs> Brian Thomas Jr. We did it. Oh my gosh. I ain't want to trade again because we've been doing it so much. All right. Let me see. All right. This is what we got on the board now. This is what we got on the board. Rook still on the board. Hicks. Yeah, I think we need to go defensive tackle. And I mean, we I mean we landed a big fish sitting right here on the board. I think you need to put some put some size on them, but this is a nice piece right here. Y'all saying Javon Bullard? Hard to turn down, huh? Y'all stressing me out now. Somebody said Pierce all we just got a receiver. And I don't know what I'm still kind of like jaded from drafting them. Ugh. All right, Rook or Pearsall, not Pearsall, but um, Bullard. I gotta be honest, we gotta go for the future. I'm, I'm gonna go, um, best player on that and go, um, the safety 71. We back at it, Javondre Sweat. Is that a no-brainer right here, y'all? Tavondre Sweat. I'm just going to do it. I know that's the pick I would make. Mm. Getting right there in front of our face. He, he ain't been available on a lot of my mock drafts. And I lo- Let me see. I love this guy, man. He this is like the first time he's been available on my mock drafts. Why is that? Uh, because I have traded into the 90s. Yeah, this is I'm sorry for y'all for some of y'all may not know about him, but this is a no-brainer for me. Um SVP center. Georgia, beautiful pick right there. Shocked he was there. And then we'll pick at 158. Mm. We always... Never go wrong with Zach. Another zone blocker. It's a perfect pick pick for us. Yeah. Got him. Ah, this is my best draft. I love just these simple picks just now. I feel like I got every player I got other than the wide receiver. I mean, it's still a good wide receiver, so you can't be mad. I just don't feel like it was the right pick to make it at the time. But I love this draft. They're going to they gonna scold me about that wide receiver. Maybe they don't. Let's see. Tavion Sanders instead of Javon Bullard. Man, get out of here. You done lost your mind. All right, they gave me a B-plus on the receiver. B-minus Bullard. B plus sweat, B Cedric Van Pell, B plus man, B plus. I can't get A. I love this draft though. I love this draft though. O line help, center and guard, defensive tackle, 
safety for the future in a wide receiver number three, ready to go into a wide receiver one or two role next year if you move on from Tyreek, him and Waddle. Oh, I love this draft. I love this draft right here. Man, oh, man. Five nice little picks. What y'all think about this one? What y'all think about this one? If these guys were inserted on our team right now, what you thinking? How you feeling? What's your confidence level? Man, oh man. Why am I sitting here looking at this like, man, come on, man, just get this Greer, get it done. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would start having hope again. I have hope again, y'all. Chris Greer, I would have hope again because I ain't got no faith in you. But I would start having hope again, man. Literally, you got a wide receiver who's going to make us the craziest wide receiving core in the league. And then on top of that, you got your future solidified by bringing him in and you save so much money saving on Tyreek in a year or two because you still got him on low money. And then you got the safety that's going to replace an aging Jordan Poyer. And I'm going to tell you now, depending on where they want to slot them, if they want to move him around, they want to keep uh, have him strong, have him free, see how they test him out, he might even start. He might even sit Poyer down. It'd be Javon and Javon. And Poyer be the death. And that would be sweet if Poyer was the death. Tavondre Sweat, Zeeler, and then you got all them other bums that we brought in as backups. Whoever win the job as a backup, that would be sweet. Don't let them sell y'all on all them guys they brought in. None of them going to come close to filling in for Christian Wilkins. But Tavondre Sweat, a wall. And Z with Tavondre Sweat, man, ain't nobody running the ball. They ain't running the ball like that. Cedric Van Pran and Zach Zinner with Austin Jackson, Teron Armstead, and let all them other guys fight for the other guard position. I feel great about that. We don't use the tight end, bringing in John O. Smith. That's good enough. We loaded at the running back position. Linebackers, I'm okay because they brought in a whole bunch of guys. And still, I want a guy at linebacker, but ain't no team got everything. D-line is straight when the guys come back from injury, of course, but that's still an issue. So the only thing I would be worried about on the Dolphins with this kind of draft is how soon Chubb and um, Phillips can get back. Um, the cornerback position. Will those guys hold up or will they be our weakness? Cam Smith Fuller, will they be able to do it? But that's it. I wouldn't have any other concerns about this team with this kind of draft. I wouldn't have any more concerns. And you can still go get a, a pass rusher. When you get an Xavier Howard money back, there's still players out here you could trade for. But the cornerback position is more of a worry for me than a lot of people are putting on. I know a lot of people ain't worried, but I'm not the biggest fan of Fuller. I'm sorry.
I know y'all like, well, Fuller's solid. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not. I don't like guys that give up touchdowns. I don't. But in this system, things can change. I love this draft, man. I love this draft. I really love this draft. Greer, man, if you can pull something like this off, it's going to take you trading down from 21 to somewhere like this. And then you could pick up an additional like 49. And you still got 55. So you can take 55, trade down to the to about 70 and pick up 97. And, and, and like that, you this is doable, y'all. And that 158. If you need to move up a few picks, make sure you use that third rounder next year. This is doable. This is really doable. Wow. And literally, we, yeah, and I like what you just said. Stole a wide receiver from Buffalo because that's who they want, by the way. Brian Thomas Jr. at 28. That is who they want. That is who they want, y'all. I took a screenshot at TD. Yeah. Send it to me on Twitter so I can post it. Yeah, this is the one. Time will tell. We'll get some more mock drafts in this week, y'all. We're going to try to get our A. Somehow, I got to get my A, man. We're going to figure it out and get that A. I just got to figure out how to do it. All right? Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Fins up no matter what. Um, Thank y'all for tuning in tonight. The TD Fins Talk, home of the real Miami Dolphin fans. Y'all... Be good tonight. Y'all get y'all some rest, and we'll be back at it tomorrow. I'll see y'all soon. Peace. I'm out.